and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Annette Sim and I'm cooking for you today a fabulous recipe out of Simply Two of You True number three. Now this particular recipe was voted as the number one favourite from my Facebook fans last year. So I thought I'd make it for you today. It's my all-time favourite, the tortilla stack. Now I've just cooked up some this and really the tip here is just to buy the really lean, you know, 5% less fat. So you want to make it really as lean as possible because that means we're going to be leaner as well. All I've got to do to prep this recipe is have some grated cheese. I've got some corn that was frozen, some tomato paste, some to uh, canned tomato, garlic, some tartar seasoning, some stock powder, capsicum onion. All we need now is to get cooking. So I'm going to first of all chop up the onion. Now the key here is I get asked all the time, what's the best way to avoid from having the tears? Well, I think it's having a really sharp knife. That's the answer. So sharp is the way to go. Some people say that if you put onions in the fridge, that also helps. But I never have room in my oven, uh, not my oven, my fridge. So here we go, chopping up some onion. And I think you can even buy frozen chopped onions, so like, this could be even more easy for you. I always use brown onions, don't know why. I mean, I'm sure the white onions are lovely, but I don't know, I just like brown. Okay, now once this mince is cooked, I'm going to drain it just so I get any excess fat off. But to be honest with you, if it's really lean mince, you shouldn't have much liquid in there at all. Alright, next one, we've got a cup of onion and now we're going to do the capsicum. So once again, it's just dicing the capsicum. I would like to take that white bit out as well because I don't think you need to have that in there. And it's just chopping it up. Actually, I found out only recently that a green capsicum is actually an unripened red capsicum. Yeah, go figure. Actually, I, I, I thought, why are red capsicums so much more expensive than green? And now I know it's because it takes longer for them to grow. So that's probably why they're dearer. And if you like red capsicums, uh, and they're too expensive, then just look for the green ones that have got a little bit of red on them and that way you'll get them to be a little bit sweeter. But in this particular recipe, I really want the green capsicum in there. Okay, now my mince is looking fantastic. Yep. I'll just take that off and I'm just going to drain it into my strainer. Oh my gosh, I love non-stick pans. They just make life so much easier, don't they? Alright, so we're just going to leave that there. Fire up the fry pan again. And we're going to start making the sauce. So let's cook off. I mean, some cooking spray probably would be good. I mean, Mexican food is just awesome. I'm a huge fan of Mexican, but I always find Mexican food can be really high in fat, also high in salt. So this is a terrific way to enjoy something without having to worry about all those issues. So in goes the capsicum and the onion. And as well, you can also put how much chili you like in your Mexican when you cook it yourself. So I think that's always a bonus because I'm a bit of a chicken when it comes to chili. Okay, so we're going to throw everything in. So uh, we've got the can of the no added salt diced tomatoes. And the, the low salt are really fantastic because that means you're looking after your healthy heart as well. And because all my recipes are suitable for people with diabetes, then that makes it even better. I'm going to put in, I think it's only one teaspoon of garlic. Yes, see, I'd two in, because I just like it, but really, one's enough. Going to put the corn in, give that a bit of a mixer. Add in one and a half cups of water. I mean, they're all the Mexican colours, you know, the green and the red, oh, beautiful. 
And then we just got to add in a couple of tablespoons. Let me check my recipe here. Three tablespoons of tomato paste. And once again, we're going with the no added salt. So that's once again very important for our general health and well-being. And we've got the taco seasoning. Now, this one as well is the reduced salt. So we want two tablespoons of taco seasoning. And that'll give it a really authentic flavour. Mix that around. And a teaspoon of beef stock powder. Super easy. I mean, that's probably why this was voted number one, because you know what, there's nothing much to it. It's got the wow factor when you eat it. Often I make this um, for dinner parties or picnics and all that, and I often make it the day before because I think it just seems to be so much more flavoursome the next day. Alrighty, so we're now going to give this a boil for about 10 minutes. I want to reduce down the tomato and we'll be right back. Okay, the sauce is looking fantastic and it's reduced right down. Now what I've got to do is take out a cup of the sauce because I'm going to use that later. Now we're going to add the mince back in. Give that a good mix up. And then we're going to assemble it. Look, what I love about my recipes is the fact that, you know, I give you the normal food, just minus all the saturated fats. And Mexican food, as I said, can be a shocker. Uh, with this recipe in particular, how I've been able to really convert down to a low fat is one, I've used the low fat mince instead of the really fatty mince. The other thing, I haven't cooked with any real oil and a lot of chefs will pour lots of oil out into the cooking when they're doing all the veggies. Um, and, and we've got the reduced fat cheese. So there's all these little components that really help to bring it down. Because the fat count, let me just check here, is 11.5 per serve, which is fantastic for what we're making. Okay, we're going to give it a spray. I'm using like a quiche dish. And then I'm going to use five of the little tortilla, or the big tortilla sheets. Put that down. And then we do about one and a half cups of the meat mix is that my oven? hold on a second here we go don't know what that's all about okay so we mix the meat out spread it around put another one on top and we do another one and a half cups say and with the beautiful flavours that it's so beautiful uh, Mexican food to me is just all about enjoying the beautiful, beautiful flavours of the fresh ingredients. Another layer. And uh, this is out of my number six, uh, number three cookbook. And honestly, you know, you'll find that in all my cookbooks, there's definitely Mexican because I love it so much. Push it down a little bit so we allow that all to fit in. This is our final layer of the mince. Oh gosh, it smells really good. And um, I serve this with um, like a tossed salad. Um, you can have vegetables with it if you want. Uh, it's really just up to you how you like it. If you want you like with your Mexican, it's really good with some avocado mashed up and stick that on the top when it's all served up. Final layer. Mm, beautiful. And this is where we add the sauce that we kept. So let's pour that on the top. This is just such a delightful dish. You have to try it. You're going to love it. And then we've got the low-fat cheese. Just the 25% cheese goes over the top, sprinkle it in. And now we're going to just bake this in the oven about 180 degrees fan forced for about 30 minutes. So I'll see you back in a short while. Well, welcome back. 
the uh, tortilla stack is ready to go. Smells amazing. Yum. Look, what a great recipe for all the family to enjoy. You know what, it's going to be their favourite, I guarantee it. And what I love about it is only 11.5 grams of fat per serve. That is just awesome. Bye now.